Hello, my name is Mark Jones, a Herne Bay Railway historian and 35 years a railway employee. We were hoping to bring you the Railways of Herne Bay exhibition at the Seaside Museum in Herne Bay this year, but unfortunately due to the current situation with the virus we've had to put that on hold and hope to bring you the exhibition in 2021. I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody that's offered to contribute with the exhibits and also helping me with the writing. Thank you. I think I should say a big thank you to everybody working in the health service at the moment. You're doing an amazing job and we should be doing more for you. I'd like to tell you a wonderful story about a very special dog called Spot. But before I do, uh, if we go back to the middle of the 19th century, before the creation of the NHS and welfare state, hospitals, orphanages and convalescent homes were very dependent on charitable donations. And uh, collecting dogs were introduced uh, also at railway stations and on board trains. Here we have a photograph of Jack at Rygate Station for the South Eastern and Chatham Railway um, taking donations for the Herne Bay Railway Convalescent Home. Here we have a picture of Brighton Bob who would perform party tricks to encourage people to donate. Uh, he was a rather enterprising chap. He worked out that if he took the coins to the bakery he could exchange them for biscuits. And why not? Uh, he got rumbled in 1868 by a journalist. In April 1909, a consignment of a fox terrier dog was sent from Yorkshire to Bexley Station in Kent. The person to whom the dog was assigned refused to accept him and asked that the dog be sold. When no buyer came forward, a telegram came from the owner requesting that the dog be disposed of or destroyed. The station master at the time, Mr Benjamin Robbins, refused to accept this and took the dog under his wings. He named him Spot and taught him to roam the station. We believe uh, this is Spot here. Within a couple of months he had managed to collect £30. That's the equivalent of about £3,500 today. When Mr Robbins moved location to Rygate, he took his four-legged companion with him. In August 1909, a bed was named after Spot at the Passmore Edwards Railway Convalescent Home in Herne Bay. Further on as followed in November, when Spot was enrolled into the Brotherhood of Hero Dogs, an organisation formed in 1906 by Mrs de Courcy Lafan. Uh, she was an animal welfare campaigner who was a novelist and wrote books under the names Bertha Jane Grundy and Mrs Leif Adams. One of the last books that she wrote was the story of the Brotherhood of Hero Dogs uh, before her passing in 1912. Mr John Edward Nichols, chairman of the Passmore Edwards Railway Convalescent Home in Herne Bay, presented the award. He gave Spot a personalised collar, a certificate and a silver mounted collar inscribed with the words, I plead for the sick. I hope you've enjoyed this story and don't forget you can follow us on Twitter, the Herne Bay Railway Historian or our Facebook group the Railways of Herne Bay History Group. Thank you for watching and take care everyone. Bye.